if it's a two year deal, no problem. But if the Raiders are looking at this team, they don't even have their franchise quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo, you and I agree, he's not that guy. He's not the guy you're building around. They still have to go get that guy. So I'm sorry. I think the Raiders are two or three seasons away from kind of knowing what the next five to ten years look like. If that's the case, do you still want to invest in that running back? I'm not saying you're wrong about what would happen to this offense if Josh Jacobs isn't there because we don't know. We don't have – any history of the running backs. You can't just replace a guy and it's easy. It doesn't happen that way. But that point around the RYOE and how it falls off, if you give Josh Jacobs a four-year deal, even if it's front-loaded and it's for two or three years, by the time you build this team around the quarterback that you actually are going to build your team around, I think his career is done. So so how do you balance that in your mind when thinking about signing Josh Jacobs? Because the Raiders aren't going to the Super Bowl this year. I'm sorry to tell people. <laughs> My my sweet spot, and that's a good question, but my sweet spot for a contract negotiation with Josh Jacobs would be a three-year deal. Mm, because okay, I know you brought up the, the stats and their and their accurate stats about running backs, about their production dropping off at their certain point. But if you look at the Tennessee Titans with Derrick Henry, if you look at the Minnesota Vikings with Dalvin Cook, those guys got second contracts and produced pretty well after they signed their second contracts. Now, as you said, you get to that third, fourth year, then it you know dwindles down down a bit. But as I said, if I give Josh Jacobs a three-year deal and he's not and he doesn't want to reset the running back market and make 15, 16 million, I think a three-year deal in that 13 to 14 million dollar range is fair because then you can maneuver the money. You can front load it. Yes, so that, that's okay, true. True. And the first two years will give you most of your money. And that third year, you may have very little guaranteed money. So if there is a drop off in that third mm. year, you could just cut them or trade them. So yes. there are a lot of things you can do with a contract to kind of maneuver things so that you get the most out of a play, you get the most bang for your buck, so to speak, in those first two years. So that in that third year, just like you would do a quarterback contract, in that third year, you can part ways with the player if you see there's a drop-off in production. 